Hi guys, this is Jerry, welcome to the channel. Today we are looking at the Android Auto connection. I'll show you how to connect, how to set up, and how to configure all the things when you want to connect your Android phone to the Kia screen. As always, you can find the timestamps down below if you want to skip forward. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe and like. That would be really helpful for the channel to grow. Let's turn the camera on and get started. All right, next is what you need. First thing you need is obviously Android smartphone. Second thing, you need your cable. This cable has to be genuine or has to be a very, very high quality one. If you get a cheap knockoff brand or anything like that, you will not be able to have really reliable connection or even connection to the Android Auto. On most Kia vehicles with this large size screen, you only have cable connection. With the smaller screen on some of the basic specs, you will have wireless Android Auto. Today, I will only show you the wired Android Auto, as if you already done the wired Android Auto, the wireless Android Auto is going to be fairly easy. Next, just when you have your phone, just make sure your phone is up to date for the latest software. For, for example, this one is Samsung, just make sure you get the latest software update from Samsung. Along with that, just make sure your Google um, information is all available, things like Google Assistance, Google Maps, and also your Android Auto systems, that's available. If it's not available, when you plug in, you do have to go, for, go through a few more steps to set everything up or to download everything to, or to update something. After that, we'll connect the cable to our phone and connect the cable to the USB underneath. So on this particular vehicle, this is the EV6, it's connected to the USB-A underneath. The USB-C, the small port, will not be able to connect to the Android Auto. Uh, it will charge, but it's not connecting. So for most other Kia vehicles right now, it's going to be the same the situation. Um, so find your USB-A, which is the larger cable over here, and connect. All right, once it's connected, it will show you something on your device. So now we want to go to next on the device, go to next. Make sure you authorize most of the things on your device. I've only done two steps on this device, but in some instance, you will need to do more steps, by the way. And in some instance, if your phone is not up to date, it's going to ask you to download everything on the phone and go through all the other steps. In other cases, if your phone shows it's charging, but it's not connected to the screen, doesn't pop the notification, this is what you want to do. Swipe down from the top left, and then you can see the USB accessory connected. Under the USB accessory, you need to tap and go to USB option. Under the USB option, you want to do this device for the USB controlled. Obviously, you want to control it through your phone, and you want to make sure you select transfer files slash Android Auto. You have to select this information so that can talk to the device on your vehicle. If you do not select this particular option, you select something else, it may drop the connection by the way. Another thing, just make sure your connected phone or your charging port is all working fine. If your charging port is not working fine or dropped off, something like that, it will not connect to this straight away. All right, now it's connected. Let's quickly show you the information available on this particular vehicle. First thing, when you want to change anything, you have the main display over here on the left. It's more like your music source. On the right, that's more like your navigation source. Uh, your navigation can be used as Google Map or some other maps, whichever you prefer. Same as music, you can use Spotify, but you can use other music source if you wish to. You can actually shuffle this in between. I'll show you the settings later on. To go back to in the main menu where the Kia menu is, you have to tap this icon and then search Kia. In some other vehicles, you may have a different name, but this is Kia, go to Kia. That means we are back in the home screen. Whenever you're in the home screen, let's say you go to the settings, you could need to find Android Auto. Sometimes they only show phone protection, but generally speaking, if it's connected, it's gonna show Android Auto. Click Android Auto, that leads us back to this particular display. On other vehicles, if you have this panel underneath, you will be able to click the navigation panel. You can also go into other panels. Let's say you are on Android Auto, go to Maps, it's going to quickly go back to maps instead otherwise we can go back home and go to android auto again to go out of it or to go into it next is on the right panel on the top is your time display battery display and signal display right now this phone does not have a sim card so signal display is not available when you want to go to the navigation let's see there are any notification things like that just click this there will be notification. Again, you can click different notification to go into each things. Right now, there's no notification. 
On the right, you get three panels or three quick buttons. The first button is navigation, which is Google map right now. If you use other maps, let's say Waze or anything like that, it's gonna show a different map icon. On the second one is your music icon. Again, right now it's showing the Spotify, but if you use other things, other music source, you can, you will have a different display. Last one is your phone call or setting menu. Right now, last one is we use this phone call. Again, you can change that, click a phone or click messages. It will go into different things. Next is the voice command button. Whenever you want to engage the voice command button, you can use this over here or use the button on your steering to activate the voice command, which go through the Google Assistant. In that instance, you can ask what's the weather like, you can ask to to call someone, you can ask it to guide you somewhere, whichever you like, you can do that. For example, what's the weather like? Right now in Pukekohe, it's 66 degrees and cloudy. Today, it'll be cloudy with a forecasted high of 68 and a low of 57. And tomorrow, it'll be rainy. Just like that. So that's how to use the voice guidance or voice recognition. You can use this to make phone calls, to send messages, to do whatever you like when you drive the vehicle so you do not have to take your eyes off the road. Last one is your menu button. You can consider this as going to home screen or going to menu screen. Under the menu screen, you have a lot of selection which I'm going to go through later on. First one, we have the maps. Under the maps, it's the same display map over here. You can control the map display like your Google map. You can also quickly search any notification or location. Click the search bar. You can see all the recent search history over here. You can guide you to home, anywhere you like. Categories, you can see gas stations, restaurants, anything you like. Again, search anything. You can also see fav saved to favorite, to places you want to go. If you wish to tap any address, there are two ways. One way is to tap this then use your search bar to click all the things. You can also do this on your phone as well, but I think this will be much easier to click this. Let's say five King Street, and then click that, King Street pop up. We can see, you can start guidance, just by press this. There we go. You can do auto route, so you can do alternative route, A, B, C, depends on your trip and all that things. A will be the most efficient way. You can just select whenever you like. And you can search a stop point if you wish to. Again, type your, drive, uh, type your information or type a gas station. It's gonna search, let's say, we're going, we're going to challenge petrol station. Click add. We're gonna to go to challenge first, then go to next destination. You can also check the destination information, route overview, or re reorder stops, things like that, whenever you like. You can cancel it whenever you like. Just click cancel. You can remove the stop point or exit navigation. So that means everything will be dis disappeared and then click cancel. That's it. That's how that works. And next, next way to search address is to use your voice guidance. I can click the voice guidance and speak out the address for you. 5 King Street. Here's what I found for 5 King Street. Just like that, searching 5 King Street for us. Again, you can name whatever you like. You do not have to say an address. You can say Abbey to dealership. You can say gas stations, whatever you wish. It's going to find location for you. So that's two ways to type your address whenever you like. Other than that, on the right, you get your settings. You can quickly change if you want to show traffic, satellite. You can see your route guidance, things like that. Uh, and you can do volume, either mute, alert only, or unmute, whichever you like. You can also select your map orientation to go to north up on 2D location, overview on your whole, let's say, route guidance. Click this for your perspective so you can see the guidance over thing. Plus, minus, allow to change um, the location of your navigation guidance. So yeah, that's pretty much about the Google map. Next one, we can go back to home screen and we can see Kia. Um, that's the home screen, just like that. Game snacks, we can actually play a game while you are in the vehicle when it's not moving, by the way. So there are tons of games that's available. Let's say if we want to play the first one, click the first one, you can go into the game section. So it's gonna be quite handy when you stop uh, for traffic, stop for charging, things like that. And uh, you can also see the high score as well. That's my history score on this device. You can just click that and 
You can hear the sound coming through the speakers, by the way, on your vehicle. And whenever you like, just click that. Uh, you can cancel the sound on the top. You can do settings. You can do all the other things. But whenever I go into drive on this device or on this vehicle, it's going to pause the game for us. So I'll go into drive right now. There we go. Not available when driving. I'll go to back, back to park. Now it's available. So that's how that works with the game. You can play whatever you like. There are so many selections available. Next, we are going to go back. We can see messages as well. When you go into messages, it doesn't really display the whole thing. When you click the name or numbers, everything, it will read out the message for you. And you can also send a message by tapping this button to select the receiver as well. So that's quite cool for the message section. Next, you can do news. So it's going to read out the latest news for you, uh, whichever you select and all the things. I'm not going to go into deep for that. Phone call, that means when you click the phone, you can do recent, you can do favorites, you can do contact contacts. That means go through your list, click the, each of the name, you can make a phone call directly. When someone calls in, you can either tap the screen to answer or tap your phone button on your steering to answer as well. Next is your podcast. You can listen to all sorts of podcasts, whichever you like. You can search history, you can do explore, you can do library. Again, whichever you like. I don't need to show you everything. Um, the important one is probably the settings. Under the settings, we can see show conversation. That means when someone sends a message, it's going to show briefly of the conversation. You can show first line or full conversation, whichever you like. You can also do play conversation chain if you wish to. You can start Android Auto automatically. That means whenever you connect it, it's going to start with Android Auto. It's going to full display Android Auto based on your vehicle setup or always or if you used it last time, whichever you like. That means Android Auto will automatically show up on your full screen or it's going to be in the menu waiting for you to tap. You can also select start music automatically. That means whenever your Android Auto started, your music will automatically start if it was playing last time. Next one, you can change the wallpaper, so background, you can do whatever you like. I've changed this one. Again, you can change on your own. Day and night mode for maps, that means you can change your automatic information. That means when you switch on the headlight, the map will go to night mode. When you switch off your headlight, it's going to switch to night day mode. Uh, so that's different. Uh, or you can stay on day or you can stay on night, whichever you like. That's up to you. Automatic is totally fine for me. So I will always stay on automatic. Next one, we have driver seat location. You can change to left drive or right drive. If it says default, that's all fine. That means this information bar, it's on. It's going to be right-hand drive for New Zealand spec. But if you are you left-hand drive, if it, this still stay on this side, just make sure you select left or right, whichever you like. It will only take effect when you restart the Android Auto, so to speak. Next, we have change layout. You can do again media close to driver or navigation close to driver. If I select media close to driver and we are going to go back to the home screen again, you can see the media display is close to me right now and navigation is on the left. So this is up to you whether you want to choose or not. And next one, electric vehicle setting. So because this vehicle is electric vehicle, you can have get EV features for maps. This is up to you whether you want it or not. It's going to show some EV information that's available on Android Auto to your app store. And last function, you can see more in the form. When you click see more, you can go to your phone to see a few more features. When you click the see more in the phone, you see this information pop up on your phone when you unlock the phone device for us. If you cannot find it, you can still go to your settings and search Android Auto. This will show up. First thing, connected car. You can see this vehicle is connected to Kia. You can see connection help in case you have a problem. You can also see previously connected vehicle. So that means you can delete or allow add new vehicles, things like that. And then you can do customer launcher. So customer launcher is quite cool. That means whenever you want to change anything, you can change the graphic, the location, or the layout of each particular thing. Let's say the maps right now is on the first one, Kia is on the second one. What I'll do is I'll swipe that to maps and Kia. Whenever I restart the Android Auto, it's going to shuffle in between. And then you can also change whatever you like. You can also untick and tick whichever I like. So for example, I do not want YouTube music anymore. I'm going to untick that. It's going to fall and the hidden apps where all the other things will show up. Let's reset the Android Auto, see how it's like.
there we go. You can see the Kia is falling to the first one, Maps is falling to the second one. And if we go up and down, we do not find YouTube music anymore. So that's how to change all these things whenever you like to customize those things. And whenever you like to go into the customized launcher, if you, you are too lazy, you can also click customize. It's going to go to that vehicle. You can also do shortcuts to the launcher, by the way. That means contacts or assistance action in one step. Click this. You can do all these things, whichever you like. You can add your favorite person's name over here. Just tap their name. You can quickly give them a call. You can also do sort or sorting order by tapping this A to Z or customer order whichever you like. Those hidden apps can be brought up as well, whenever you like. Next, we have Hey Google detection. So you can enable the Hey Google. That means when you drive the vehicle, you do not have to um, press this button. You just say, Hey Google, then voice command will come up. You can see over here. You can do day, nine, day and night mode. So that's the same, start automatically, that's the same. Start Android Auto while locked. That means when you plug in onto your phone, if your phone is locked, it's gonna still start Android Auto. Otherwise, you can disable that, whichever you like. These Google Assistants, these are gonna be very easy for you to use. Um, and all these things are there with the settings. So that's pretty much all about the settings for your Android Auto. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the contents. If you do, please do not forget to subscribe and like. That would be really helpful for the channel. As always, I'll see you next video.